Hello YouTube, this is Anthony's West Texas Rides, coming to you from San Angelo, Texas. I just thought I'd do a quick walk around and let you kind of look at my personal bike. It's a 2007 V-Star 1300 Tour, which I've kind of turned into a deluxe. Uh, leather wrap, hard bags, passenger footboards. As you can see, this bike comes with a heel toe shifter, but if you can see from mine, the gentleman I bought it from had a lot bigger feet than I did, so he cut the heel shifter off. I'm, I have to admit, I kind of miss my heel toe shifter. I really like the heel shift on the, the bike. Memphis Shades, bat wing fairing. Uh, had my friend paint it. I actually had both tones of paint that I had bought color matched to uh, match the bike. I painted it myself and I may throw a picture in here on the video for you all to see. The paint turned out great but the clear coat I bought from the company turned out to be crap. Ended up being horrible. I ended up having to scrap the whole thing and have my friend paint what I had left which was just the silver paint. So got the lower wind deflectors on the fairing which really help. I recommend if you get a Memphis Shades Batwing fairing uh, the fork deflectors really help as well. As you can also see, I've got a Hogtoons MSA-1 speaker specifically designed for their fairing. And it's really a pretty nice little system. I got really lucky, found mine on eBay for 80 bucks because I think they're right around 400 bucks new. I think Bluetooth's like 430. And a uh, quick disconnect, you can pop this thing right on and off. I've got it set up with my speaker system so I can just plug and unplug. Since I bought it used for 80 bucks, I didn't get the original harness, so I had to kind of find me a trailer harness that I could utilize and make work. But I got it to work, so we're good there. Uh, let's see, what else have I done to it? As you can see, I've got the ultimate seats for it. I bought it with those already on there. The only thing I had to do was buy the rider's backrest. So that was a nice little uh, perk of buying it. Didn't have to deal with that. And then I've got the stock air box, but I've modified that. Drilled all the holes on each side to really open that air box up. And I've got a Bike Master version of a K&N air filter. And uh, I just got through doing my first service and clean on it. And I've actually been really impressed with it. It's pretty good quality handles and holds up really well to the cleaning and everything and I've still got all my uh, old school or old not old school but my older model uh, Canon air filter cleaning kits that I've had on previous bikes I've owned and I use that to clean it with so I'm plenty good there it's a little dirty but I like to ride my bike not clean my bike so that's just my personal preference I'll clean it maybe once a month but we've had some weather that's been a little nasty and it's gotten her a little dirty, so. Got a Denali Sound Bomb air horn, much better quality than uh, the stock horn, as you can see. Gets their attention, it's a little bit louder, a little bit nicer. Uh, as I said, I've got the modified air box. I've also got the, the previous owner had drilled out the uh, baffle on the stock exhaust, so. With that and that, I put a uh, Cobra FI-2000R closed loop on there. It was really easy to install. One plug comes in right under here and plugs into your fuel injection system, and the other one goes over and plugs into the uh, O2 sensor. And then you set your parts. I think the base setting for the bike with uh, intake and exhaust is uh, one three one I've set mine after running it around a little bit I've set mine at two three and a half and two and I seem to really like it bags are pretty big like I've got my whole lunchbox in here and my seat covers my rain covers for my Mustang or not my Mustang but my ultimate seat sorry my 950 I had had Mustang seats so ISO grips on it and they're pretty nice see what else I think that's pretty much it she's a good running little bike 
the sound system does get fairly loud. I'll play just a little snippet of something to make sure you can hear it without something that hopefully YouTube won't flag me on. From a fellow movie bus out there, they might know exactly what that's from. But saddlebags lock real good. The only thing I ever catch myself doing is not paying attention and making sure it's it's latched. Because there have been times where I've gotten home and my saddlebag sitting like this, where it, I rode all the way home with it flopping in the wind. So I've probably done that three or four times. But for a 11-year-old motorcycle with OE bags, I'd say they've held up pretty well. Of course, once a month I put a little uh, love on them. For, so works out really well. I think I'll put on my winter gloves for the ride home. But I think I'm going to run over to Family Power Sports and they've got a nice used Victory Cross Country Tour that I want to take for a little test drive and might record a video of that. So until I see y'all next time, y'all have a good one and ride safe. Thanks.